President Ruto's housing levy has suffered yet another blow after the Attorney General stated in a letter that the ongoing deductions are, quote, unconstitutional. Justin Muturi's assertions are an advisory to the Kenya Revenue Authority that sought guidance on the implementation of the housing levy. And even after the AG's advisory, Kerry did not halt the February deductions. NTV's Brian Giorgio Tieno explains. In a letter dated 21st February 2024 to the Kenya Revenue Authority Commissioner General, the Attorney General Justin Muturi said that there is no legal basis for the implementation of the housing levy deductions after the Court of Appeals ruling on the 26th of January 2024. The letter reads in part, and I quote, that there is no legal basis upon which the housing levy, as provided for in Section 84 of the Finance Act 2023, can be implemented. End of quote. The housing levy had been disputed by a host of petitioners, arguing that the inclusion of the informal sector in deductions made it impossible to legitimize why the employed were being levied. The National Assembly would then move to pass a bill just a week ago, including the informal sector, in deductions towards the levy with a clause that directed the deductions of 1.5% of gross earnings in businesses remitted towards the housing levy. Employers and employees paid out 26.8 billion shillings under the mandatory housing development levy in the six months ended December 2023 amid legal hitches that threatened to stop the controversial contributions. The State Department for Housing and Urban Development seeks to collect 63.2 billion shillings from the housing levy by the end of the financial year ended June 2024. With this new development from the Attorney General, does it mean the Kenya Revenue Authority decided to disregard the advisory and carried on with the legal deductions in February? Most importantly, will Kenyans get refunded for their deductions hit at all? Brian George Otieno, NTV, Nairobi.